Welcome to this wonderful platform. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this channel for the first time, you are welcome. Please, if you like what you see here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. It's very, very important because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I present to you news on daily basis on what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria and in Biafra land. Yes, Abmada Biafra. I bring to you Biafra news. So before I do that, what I always do is that I analyze it and I sit down there to watch the video together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. That is why the comment section is there for you to contribute, leave your ideas, your thoughts, your belief about the videos that you have watched. Please, as we are doing this, let us do it constructively. As we we'll hop into today's video, remain blessed. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. As Opportunity. What am I going? I don't know how to appreciate your hard work. Really, you know, um, you have you. What you are doing is immense. It's it's really really worthwhile. And I want to say thank you. I have tried severally to call you but I feel woefully every single time. And this is, I, I jumped on this opportunity straight up. And really my contribution so far, you know, all of us are hurting. You know, yesterday was my son's birthday and we were all wearing their friend uh, t-shirts and we're all just in praying in solidarity and um, listening for the best. But we, we were not surprised anyway at what they did. We were not surprised at all, at all. Um, I will, you know, for everything that is going on, my thought is everybody, Keep the faith. Let's, whatever you're doing in your own little corner, you know, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakar is telling us that he's uh, saving Nigeria when they all of us pulled us into this mess. I remember arguing with some of my friends. I said, Gwari has nothing to offer us. But then they, uh, sorry, I'm calling from, I'm in London at the moment. You know, I'm not in Nigeria right now. That is why I can wear my Biafran flag proudly <laughs> everywhere. Without fear. <laughs> you know, but for everybody back home, keep the faith, stay safe. These people are mad. They are crazy. They have no respect for your life, but you must stay safe. And you must put um, your trust in the people outside of the country. A lot of movements have been propelled forward by the people outside the country. So do not um, take, take, take what we are doing outside here for granted. Every little thing, everybody who is preaching on the bus, who is going out for protest, my dad went out for protest and it rained on him for four hours and I couldn't be proud of him. You know, I have little kids, so that's why I might not be able to be out there on the streets every single time, especially it's, it's holidays. But my dad was out there and honestly, I, I couldn't be proud of him. So the other thing I wanted to say, Mayagum, yes. if if there was a way that we could get, I don't know how we could reach out to some of these celebrities, okay. because you remember, you remember the um, uh, the these people who who fought the war. Um, they couldn't get their British visas, and then there's um a Brit a British. Uh, you mean the Jamaicans? No, not the Jamaicans. These ones are the Gawkers. The Gawkers. Oh, my husband just reminded me. The Gawkers. The Gawkers, it. remember that they were entitled to their visas here, right? Mm -hmm. And the, they refused to give it to them. Then one of the celebrities, now that I'm live, I'm beginning to forget her name, you know, but okay. she stood up for them. And everywhere she went, she championed their, she championed their cause until finally they were able to, give in, to be given their right. So this is not something I know how to go about it. But the reason why I'm using this platform to say this is there are people who know some celebrities here. We need to begin to speak to some of these people. And we need to, you, they may, you might think that they don't care about us, but I believe that the average um, British person can actually be sympathetic to what we are facing. But the problem we have is that we have these people in their secret service that do not allow them to know what is going on and how their government is using their name in a very bad way. So, so because if a, if a lot of them know what is going on, they will say, not in my name. So let us begin. This is another thing that we could try and do. That's try right. to reach out to one or two of these celebrities. The moment they pick up on our cause, believe you me, the moment they pick one of them picks up on it, they can be very passionate people. So I don't know if my time is up, but this is yeah, why finally. I am just saying it. there's no way out because I don't know where Nigeria is going any longer. You no, know, 
killing everybody here and there, leaving those people that they should be arrested. And you, the Nigerian government is chasing only one person up and down, chasing Ibo and Kalo up and down. Why did less uh, Boko Haram in the bush and killing people? And my concern is this: the British government. I live in Britain. I was born and brought up in Lagos, and I'm ready to go to the parliament when you announce you see me. You to my I am ready to go to the parliament. They are looking now until it's going to become Afghanistan. The Americans are looking now. The whole world is looking Nigeria now. The whole world is looking Nigeria now until when it falls to the war. Why can't they do something now? Why? Why they can't do anything for now? Why it until when innocent people die? When it becomes war? That the Nigeria is at the gun gunpowder. Everybody is shouting, everybody is singing. When you do business, there, nothing can assist it. No light, no road. These people, these Kappa, with their generation, with their children, they do the same thing to me and you. They send all the good citizens out of Nigeria. The best doctor of Nigeria, my brother is Goke Adejuma, he's in Britain. My sister is in America, is Alaba Adejuma. They, they were spread all over the world. The good doctors, good lawyers, everybody is all that we spread all over the world. Where are the good people? The people in Nigeria, they don't have brain, they've sent their brain with poverty. They don't even know what they are doing. They don't, even though we are shouting here, we are talking here, it doesn't go to their score. They don't know what they're doing anymore. They have oppressed them to the extent when you give them 5,000 naira, it looks like they give them a million naira. How could, how could we leave this, this generation to come? Religion has damaged more than politics. Religion has added, has traumatized more than politics in Nigeria. Religion basically is the basis for control. They've used religion, you can see the, no the northern part. Everything they eat today, everything, their actions, their, their prologue, everything they do today is religion linked. It's linked to, to what they believe in Islam. The kind of Islam they are taught to practice, where you can die and go to he to heaven and have uh, 99 virgins, where life life becomes unimportant, where education is seen as as a crime, education is haram. So you can see that even in the south, if this all the southerners as well, religion you get the same thing. It's like a programming that has been set for every single Nigerian. And getting out of it is going to be massive. You can see that many of us that are outside the country, it's like, it's like we see, but they inside can't see. They are the ones living in that problem, but they can't see. But we outside, we tend to see. And why do we see? Because basically we are living lives that have... have a, have the sourced amenities available we don't have to pray for light we don't have to pray for a good road we don't have to pray for good health you know every, everything that should be available is available now a brother of mine was saying earlier in your earlier broadcast that uh, what can we do to help those back at home this is what we can do we have to keep talking we have to keep expressing ourselves we have they, ha they we have to talk and they have to listen that is the only way we can keep moving then another thing so i would much. like us to always take note okay yeah sorry to cut you short there honorable uh paul your time is also up okay and okay, uh, thank you, we, thank will, you. we will see more of you in the comment section as well okay thank you very much i'm going to go now to our next uh in line honorable uh one moment sorry guys that uh, you know what i'm doing is that uh, i'm taking people out and allowing other people to join. The contribution is going to be what you have to say when you have your time. So let's go to our own Honorable Anthony before we go to Buck Gott. Or Gotti. Sorry, there. Um, thank you and uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, um, Honorable Mayegun, the chief host, the resident president. I want to thank you for this wonderful work you're doing. I'm calling from uh, the United States. Just a moment, uh, Honorable Anthony. 
Uh, can you uh, please let me uh, mute that your uh, audio, dear Honorable Borg, if that's okay? And uh, you can continue, please. Oh, Anthony, not you. I mean, uh, Borg Gatti. Okay. Can you hear me now? Let me mute your audio, please. Your mic. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. So uh, I think he actually heard me. Can you hear me, Borg Gatti? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm trying to please, my... just look at your screen and mute the microphone. I think it's mute now. No, okay, maybe I should help you. Don't worry, I'll try it from here. Yeah, I think it's from... Don't worry, sir. Now, Honorable Anthony, you can proceed, please. Yeah, so thank you once again, uh, uh, Honorable Mayegun, for this yeah. wonderful opportunity for bringing all of us together to discuss these issues many years ago uh, issues like this don't come in the forefront but from what is happening around the world you can see that times are changing and people are beginning to see the realities of the moment but my only concern is that the people we are fighting for are yet to see what is going on the people it looks like the, this whole drama is being championed from diaspora which i understand the reason you know because of the oppressions about those who have decided to speak up but in every one in every human being we have this this uh imbued gift of grace that god has given to us to fight for ourselves to fight for for other people you know my concern is why are nigerians being so disinterested in what is happening because in my Igbo culture, I'm a Dottish, by the way. I'm I'm from the Dot land. <laughs> so my in my culture they say when you see a chicken using the leg to scra to scratch to scramble the feces, to scramble feces anywhere, you have every right to pursue to chase that chicken away from using the legs to you know scramble on the feces because you don't know who is gonna eat the legs. So when people keep quiet and Fan ignorant like they don't know what is happening. These guys are just in our neighborhood and they are coming. So all I want to suggest again is that each and every one of us should flood the DMs and the social media handles of whoever that cares all over the world. Just create a pool, create a pool of disturbance, you know, from Nigeria in the DMs and the social media and social sphere of whoever that has any mouth to say anything in the world that has influence. By the time this whole thing continues to flood in their DMs, it's gonna keep sending signal that something is happening somewhere. Then the second person is, if we continue to think that these people are going to change, I believe it's a waste of time because their conscience is dead. They are not going to change. They are operating with the last con the last class of conscience. There are six classes of conscience: mm -hmm. correct, incorrect, certain, and um, uh, uh, correct, incorrect, certain, um, uh, lax, scrupulous. But these people are working with scrupulous conscience. Uh, sorry, with lax conscience. Lax conscience does not have to ruminate it doesn't have to you know get turned out turned away from evil once they make up their mind they are there and you can't change it and mm -hmm. th the problem is they don't even see evil as evil because they are used to evil so they, just, they see evil as good i don't want to take the time of so many people thank you but, very much you know mm -hmm. honorable anthony because we wasted your time from the beginning as well that's why i gave you that time so thank you for that clearer uh, contribution uh, now, let us go to uh, Honorable Bog Gatti. Sir, let me see if I can get uh, your audio, your mic open. Can you hear me? Yeah, so, yeah, I can hear you, Mayegu. Uh, I'm so doing? glad to be here. I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm calling from South Africa. I'm an artist as Amazing. well. So Amazing. My, now you have your own my, time to speak, please. Yeah, my issue is uh, Nigeria must be this, this, uh, this, 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 that is, the Nigeria needs to be dis dissembled. You understand? Mm. If it is not dissembled, the world can never be at peace. The world needs peace. And the only way they can have peace is 
to 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 crumble Nigeria and let everybody live and be his own and start a better life for themselves. Otherwise, this generation and that honorable we are, honorable Bogati, be specific. Yeah? Will also help us tonight. Yes, Nigeria need to be dismembered. This uh, yes. you know uh, broken down. It's, and can it's, you it's a one? caliphate. How it's did you a caliphate. Mm -hmm. It's a caliphate, and a caliphate is like a terrorist. It's a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. So everything they are doing there is out of terrorism. And then, as much as they have already taken grip of the essence, the real power, the real areas of power, they are with it. There's no way they're going to release it until mm -hmm. we fight. As far as the same way Martin Nandikani is fighting, is the same way all of us must start fighting now. Any which way, start it in any which manner you can. That's all that we are in for now. At the way you are pushing every other person, if we have over 1,000 people like you, like me, everybody talking, because I, I also spread the word through my only two ways. So Lovely. that's why today I say, let me be part of today. So that I can express myself. So it's time. We have to mm. come together and decide on something. This is no more time for procrastination. That is what I'm about. So the Thank things, the, whatever we say we're going to do, let's start doing now. Exactly. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Bugatti. Bugatti, I would rather just call you Bugatti, but you see that dash in between. Continue to confuse yeah, me. Yeah, bug, bug, bug with the Gatti, yeah. Oh, a bug with a gutty. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so that's one of uh, yeah. the members uh, parliamentarian tonight. I'm going to now. I'm going to go to Honorable David. Then we have Honorable UK. <laughs> then uh, we have uh, Honorable Ejinle Media, uh, which uh, I am going to make third before we get to Awi Konko. Now the other uh, members of the parliament tonight, live parliament tonight. They are not putting on their camera yet. So I have accepted their invitation, but I'm not sure if they will be participating, but they are listening anyway. So, yeah, I'll start with uh, Honorable David. You thank have your time, you. sir. Yeah, thank you, Mike, for giving me another opportunity. Thank you. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to say now, because for the first time I was emotional, you know. I um, remember. Yeah, so, but like, I, like my brother just said now, it's like there's no more time to waste with Nigeria. Mm. Yes, it cannot work. If it cannot work during the time of my grandfather, it cannot work with my father. It's not working with me. So it can these three generations, Yoba said, you know, metal in Toshi. You know, me fat in Toshi by you know me fat in Toshi. What in no bobo generation, three, four, five generations to come, they have spent it. They have spent it. Nigeria is in debt. Nigeria is finished. Let's just let everybody go on his own way in peace. And if they don't want that peace, let's go to war. There's nothing bad about it. Britain fight, fought war. They were in captivity under it, uh, Roman Empire for 400 years. The road I'm driving my car here, I don't know we build it. But somebody fought for it. Hmm. So if I need to go out to fight for Nigeria, let me take my bag and go and fight. This is where I stand now. Give me the time for the parliament tomorrow. Where they, Buhari must not take any medical, any medical treatment in Britain. I want you to publish my name out. I am paying tax in Britain. That is my money. He must not, he, he should go back with his blood money, the, the jihad money. He should go back with it and go and treat himself in Saudi Arabia or in Qatar. Anywhere he wants to go and treat himself, but not in Britain. That is a blood money. My ego, that's why I'm saying. I like that addition, and I'm glad that you came back. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a pleasure. Now, let me go on to Honorable UK now. So, sir. Yeah, hello, my how are you doing? I am surviving, sir. How are you? Yeah, yeah I want to say hello to everyone on, on this platform. You know, Great. yeah, I want to also thank you for creating this platform so that everybody's voice can, can be heard. You know, That's right. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, you know, our elders, I remember sometimes when I listen to you, you see, due, due to we have a very yeah. foolish elders. Eh, those ones, yeah. those foolish elders, yeah, those foolish elders, you know, keep making everybody to suffer. And those foolish elders, they, 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 some of our participants have their mic on. Can you please look at the screen, please, and mute it? It's under the video, that camera in front of you, underneath it, you will see my. 
camera. So mute the uh, microphone, please. I'm trying to mute the um, uh, Thank you for always watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye bye.